Hey guys and welcome back to another of my YouTube videos. If you're new here, you're really welcome. My name's Laura and this video is all about my favourite apps that I've used this year in medical school. This video has been requested by a lot of you on Instagram. Check it out above and if you are interested, please go hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my new content and videos about medical school and how to get into medical school as well. But this video is all based on my apps that I've used this year that I honestly couldn't live without for medical school. I've just done my first year at Queen's University Belfast and really enjoyed it. But there are definitely things that I'd say have been made a lot easier by using these apps on my iPad. So first of all, app number one, and this one is Teach Me Anatomy. It is totally free to use and is actually amazing at doing what it says, teaching you anatomy. Um, so for all my anatomy classes, I've had lectures and notes and things given, but it's quite difficult when you go Googling things that you're not quite sure about to know that you're getting the correct information. Whereas this app, which is totally free, gives you all of this information in one place and also allows you to select parts of the body that you want to go into in more detail. It's totally free to use and it also has some quizzes on it. They're only short, but they are really good at pinpointing any sort of gaps in your knowledge and just helping highlight anywhere that you might want to go over in more detail, especially ahead of exams and any sort of tests that you might have. So the next app that I made use of, not so much at the start of the year because I actually didn't know it existed, but towards the end of the year I found very useful, is Human Atlas. And as the name sort of suggests, it basically has lots and lots of information and dissections of the body. It's really, really interesting and I suppose it's probably a bit too detailed for me in first year, but I think for the next couple of years it will be very useful um, for teaching you different parts of the anatomy, sort of things about physiology as well linked in there. But overall, it's a really nice layout of the entire body just dissected into parts like muscles, tendons, bones, basically all the organs as well. So definitely check that out if you are interested in learning more anatomy in greater detail. Another app that I found really, really useful was YouTube. And as you guys are on watching this, you probably use YouTube quite a bit as well. And for me personally, YouTube has been pretty much a lifesaver over the years, just teaching me different things, helping me revise. But definitely this year, I've used it a lot, using it to just fill in knowledge gaps from lectures, tutorials, and also things like clinical skills as well, and just sort of linking them all together and making sure that I understand things in enough detail so that I feel confident when going in for exams. But my favorite app of all this year has to be GoodNotes. And if you're not aware what this is, the name kind of gives it away. It's basically a note-taking app, but for me, being a very much pen and paper girl before going into medical school, I have really adjusted very easily and very helpfully by the GoodNotes app. It is so simple to use, it's got a great format and structure, and it's also compatible on all my devices, making it just so effortless and um, helping sort of link it in for so many different things when you're out and about as well. It's really, really helpful. It does come with a small cost and for me it was basically a no-brainer. Um, I think it was around £7 which is very very low for an app of this sort of um, size and scale of what you can do on it. I've taken all my lectures, I've stored all my notes, I have been able to compact and condense all of the clinical skills, all of my tutorials, all of my anatomy and microanatomy classes and basically just have it in a format that I find easy to navigate and use and also to have it all there in one location which I really really love. It's compatible with lots of different formats like PDF and you can also export them and print off them as well which is great for me personally. Another amazing thing about GoodNotes is that it doesn't require Wi-Fi or 4G connection everywhere that you go. It actually is able to be used offline, which is really, really helpful, especially when you're out and about on transport or you're just in parts of the university maybe that don't get good Wi-Fi connection. It's really, really helpful and it also means that you can do revision when you're on the go or just add things in like shopping lists and stuff, which I found really useful. 
So I'm going to go into more detail all about good notes and how I personally actually make my notes because I think watching other people do that is quite interesting and hopefully can give you a few tips and tricks on how to use it effectively from day one, which I think would have been helpful for me to know earlier. So hopefully we'll be able to help you. So stay tuned for a video all about good notes. But I hope that's given you a good understanding of the apps that I've used this year in first year medical school and the apps that I will carry forward to use next year because I have really enjoyed their layout, their functionality and also how inexpensive and easy to use they are. These apps have been super helpful in helping me revise for my exams and I'm hoping that you will be able to make use of them as well in the future. So let me know what your favourite apps are down in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section as well. If you found this video useful and you'd like to find out more, please hit that subscribe button and the like button um, to keep you up to date with all my new content and videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.